So I'll play, uh, I'll play another one and then um, let you guys get on with your evening. What do you guys do tonight? Nothing at all. You're not gonna eat it. Going home, maybe. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Uh, watch the sunrise while driving. Probably over Illinois at that point. It's a good place to see a sunrise. I don't know if you've ever seen a sunrise in Illinois, but harvest time. All this dust in the air. Nice. Um, thanks again for letting me be here. Uh, it truly means the world to me. Thanks for brewing a, a cup, of, a pot of coffee just for me. Unless you have some back there, and then thanks for brewing it for us. Um, thank you guys. Uh, so I have some merchandise out in the hallway uh, on the way out. If you're interested, um, if you're interested in helping out with gas, there's a, a gas box that you can drop thousand dollar bills in. <laughs> <laughs> If you're at a point in your life of where maybe, you, uh, maybe you're dealing with some confusion on what it is that God might be doing in your life, um, maybe you're dealing with sickness, maybe you're dealing with loss, um, this next song is dedicated to you. It's a new song. Uh, it's not even technically properly named yet. It's just, it's just a new song that um, I, I, I wrote it about uh, where where I've spent some time in the past year, two years. Uh, and that is an, a, a time of confusion and, and doubt, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not in that spot anymore. And I'm so thankful that I'm not, um, because I believe that God can work miracles. And uh, that's what this song is. If it's something that you can relate to, that is amazing. Um, But it's that thing, I remember, um, I remember this guy, Josh. He was in this band called Free Car Pileup. We toured with them. They were good tours. It's a good story, I'll tell you this and I'll play the last song. Um, we were in uh, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Don't go there right now. And we had driven a very long way to get there. <clears throat> I think this story's worth it. <laughs> it might not be. Uh, we had driven a very long way to get there. And on the way, uh, we were driving through like the, 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 Mount, the Smoky Mountains or whatever, and, and Three Car Pileup's van was having brake issues, and they had to have a lot of work done on their brakes. And so they decided to go ahead and get new tires and have them balanced as well, right? Um, so they dropped like 800 bucks uh, on van repairs, and they, they, they got to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and we're there, uh, we're hanging out, and before the show, I don't know why, and, and I, I believe I'm the one that said it, I actually know I'm the one that said it, because I was making a joke, I'm like, you know what would be crazy is they put their van up on blocks while they're playing, I'm like, no, that'd be crazy, why would anybody ever do that, no, we're not. I, I just said it in passing, right? We're about to walk up and play. Three Car Pilot had played, another band had played, and we're about to go up and play. And the guys in Three Car come in and they're so mad. What happened? What in the world? What'd you do? And we're like, wait, what? They're like, our band is on blocks outside. And I'm like, no way. Some of the kids that were standing there with us before we played, or like before the show started, like they heard me say, it'd be funny to put their van up on blocks. <laughs> they put their van up on blocks and put their new tires and rims in the back of their van. Because <laughs> what better place to put it? All their gear was inside. So they literally put their, their tires and rims in the back of their van and left it on blocks. And they were so, so mad at us. It was unreal. So I, I've, I've kind of learned not to say certain things around people who might be completely insane, right? And so, um, I have no clue why that popped into my head, but it did. Oh, I was thinking, Josh, they had this song called Silver Lining, right? 
And they're like, no matter what it is you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, there's always a silver lining, is what they were saying. And uh, it took me a while. Um, that tour was like a long tour, and they spent a lot of time being mad at us. Uh, but it took me a while to realize, like, totally, I, I get it. Like, I mean, there's always hope. There's always hope, and I, and I believe that that's in Jesus. And um, so all that rabbit trail, that, have you heard that story? No? Yeah, you, you've heard it? Did I add to it or take away from it? It was this right. <laughs> I remember it so well because I got really sick because I drank faucet water that night. I was so sick. And I was like, no, what if you do? Don't drink the water. That's what I always would say. They're like, where are you guys at? We're in Michigan. Don't drink the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, I remember it. I remember it. I got it out of this sink in this kitchen. In a, a long styrofoam cup. And I chugged it before we played. And I was really sick. And so, thanks again. How do you come back from that? How do you... <laughs> I don't know why people book me with play sometimes. Like, where did he go? Have he, like, went somewhere? And all that. Thanks again for letting me be here. I'm going to gain my composure. Uh, I would say regain, but I don't know if I had it. So um. <laughs> There's a good silver line. <laughs> anyway, I have some merchandise out there if you're interested. It'd be awesome. Thank you guys very much. I, I do appreciate it. Hope this song can relate to someone. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do.
Breathing help me see the light hand that I can hold on to Thank you very much.